I have the most random thing to tell you. Oh, okay. I um, years and years ago, before I had ever heard who you were, I heard your name, and I had never heard of that. These are, boards are flying everywhere. <laughs> I had never heard of that name, and I was like, "That is the best name ever. I'm going to name my future child that." Greer is the coolest name ever. Thank you. What it, do you I'll know? What it here. means or the background of it at all? Well, there was an actress in the 1930s named Greer Garson. She won um, a Best Actress Oscar for um, this movie called Mrs. Miniver. I'm like, I know everything because that's who I'm technically named after. My mom loved her as an actress, and she also just loved the name Greer, and that's where it came from. But it's actually, it's a Scottish name. It's the female version of Gregory. Really? I didn't yes. know. Yeah. Yep. I've done all the history on it. <laughs> okay. Well, mentioning your parents, I think it's really remarkable how, although you come from a family background with, you know, actors, you've really solidified your spot and made a very, like, successful fan base. But is there anything that your dad's ever imparted wisdom to you as far as, I mean, like, how to handle the entertainment industry? I mean, there's so many things that he's told me and yeah. such good advice always. Um, the one thing, and I always feel kind of repetitive because I say it all the time, but it really is the best thing he's ever told me. And that was just, um, you know, to make sure that you love what you do because if you don't love this job, I mean, it can tear you up and you just have to be sure that it's what you want to do. And also, he's always said that, you know, it's very hard. The entertainment industry is very hard on women. So to just make sure that you have a strong sense of self um, and to not let it get you down. I love that. And I have to, like, geek out with you. I think your Twitter is a little bit of like my spirit sister. You <laughs> tweeted the other day, anyone ever wonder what Drew from Teardrops on My Guitar is up to? Um, apparently he got arrested. <gasps> no! Yeah, people tweeted me, they responded to that one, and they were like, he got arrested. Do you think Taylor like, knows? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> It made me really question like everything, but I I was really sad to, to hear that. I'm sorry, Drew. Does that mean that you're a Swifty? I am a Swifty. Oh I, yeah, I, me I, too. I mean, I've been a Swifty since day one. Like I remember teardrops on my guitar coming out. And, like I think I was what that was ten years ago, so I was 14, yeah. and like I mean, it just spoke just spoke to me, and I think all of her songs still do. I think you should campaign to be in a girl squad because anybody that loves Awkward will love Taylor. Oh it's my like God, like I want it so bad. <laughs> I want it so bad. Okay, I, yeah, I, let's make that happen. And then Thank I have you. to ask you, I love your Instagram. You post like photos of you working out and you're obviously in really good shape. And But you keep it real. You tweeted this morning that you had a blemish situation, which I don't see at all right now. So right. I don't see it. Well, huh? either way, you're keeping it real. So Thank being you. in Hollywood and like staying fit and feeling beautiful and confident, like do you have any good secret tips? Oh my God, good secret tips. Um, I don't know, I mean, that's something that I still even struggle with. There are days I wake up and I look at myself and I'm like, yikes. Um, but I think it's just, you know, to, to be confident in who you are. I mean, I truly do think that inner beauty is better and, and not better, but brings out outer beauty. So I like to be real and funny and that's just who I am. And I think that people resonate with that. And so I'm always happier when people when they describe me as sweet or funny instead of beautiful. Um, so I just, yeah, I don't know, just to have confidence. <laughs> and then very lastly, this yes. movie, of course. Can you just tell us a little bit about your role? I mean, there's so many elements. It seems like a really good family film. There's horses. There, tell us, from. I want to hear from you yourself, like what can people expect? People can expect everything. I mean, they can expect tears. They can expect smiles. They can expect laughs. It's... It's got such a good message. Um, I play Emma, this young girl who kind of, you know, is going down a wrong path. She's hanging out with some friends who aren't exactly the best influences, and she has to do community service at this rescue ranch, which is the real life Red Bucket Rescue Ranch in Chino Hills. And um, she finds herself there, and she, yeah, helps the ranch, and she helps this horse, and it's just about helping others. Well, congratulations on everything. It's so nice to meet you. I love how you keep it real on social media. It makes me laugh. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes, thank, thank you. you.